Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Uh, oh, win streak minus three. I wonder what. I wonder how that happened. You know, what? let's do a Jacob. If we're gonna do a stretch of hard characters, we got to do a stretch as the hardest character of them all. Lazarus, no, which, well, it probably is Lazarus, let's be honest. But uh, we'll play as Jacob. And I've learned, I've learned a bit about playing as El Jacob here. I cannot fly, that's right. I think we need to rely heavily on the damage of Esau. And I understand that now, I understand how to do it. You can lock him in place with Anima Sola and then shoot him by using the item again. You don't just use it to stop Esau, you can use it to control his movements. And if we do that, I think we'll have a good slash better, uh... Hello? A better shot here. I don't know why he wasn't moving, but you know what? I'll take it. There he goes. Um, so for the entire run, Esau is going to be chasing us. I guess he has like a random chance of aggroing. He's annoying. He's hard to dodge, and if he touches us, he turns us into the lost, and then we die if we get hit once more. So we gotta be very careful about Esau, but we can lock him in place by using Anima Sola. That'll stop him from moving at all. Don't don't kill him, because if you kill him, uh, you'll be very unhappy with things. I'm, I'm trying to find a room full of enemies to actually use Anima Sola here, but... There we go. So we can lock him in place, and then... We can unleash him, which causes him to immediately bum rush. He does a lot of contact damage, although apparently, uh, unless you're using Anima Sola, he doesn't really do that much damage, which is uh, slightly annoying, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll live with it. We'll learn. I do find it a little bit awkward to have Anima Sola on cue, but you know what? There's only a limited number of uh, buttons that can be utilized by the game anyways. But we need to just use that damage from Esau to do our damage. That's what we gotta do. I would love to be able to afford more options. Excellent. And I think with more options, we might even want to do the, uh, the alt path, because I believe with more options we can actually get two items from every item pedestal. So this could be a very good good opportunity to get some stuff completed on the post-it. So luck down, addicted, shot speed down times two, puberty. All right, great, great assortment of pills. 10 out of 10. Let's make sure we actually buy this item first before we leave, because I was about to just go off to the next floor. Let's make sure Anima Sola is activated. Something else that I need to really make sure of is that the proper item is in the Q slot. Dun, dun, want to buy fake PhD? I mean, that's part of the reason why I like fake PhD because you're gonna you're gonna always get rooms like that, you know. Okay, okay. We're gonna come back after we fight the boss to get access to all those books without having to take damage over the spikes. So we will pick up those books. It'll just happen later. Whoa. Because if uh, if Esau touches us, we fly, we become the lost. So we can easily grab all of those books, get Bookworm. We can keep one book with us. Um, I don't know what, which one we'd want to keep, really, because we could keep uh, Book of Belial. We probably want to keep Satanic Bible for the health. I mean, I, I act like this is a, a tough call, but it's not really a tough call, is it? Okay, break the chain, walk away. If you get a racer, you can evaporate Esau forever. It's extremely difficult to do, but it is possible to do it. What you have to do is you have to time it so that he Esau dies due to the eraser damage, which is very difficult to actually plan for. You have to like count damage done, like HP per HP per HP. But if you can do it, you can totally erase Esau. It's just very, very tough. Okay, so deal with the devil. It's actually quite good. You know what? 
gonna take Abaddon. If we're going hard on uh, on Black Hearts anyways, then this does seem pretty good, right? We'll just use Book of Belial, we'll have enough health, and we'll be fine. And now we have more damage, too. Just try to always use Anima Sola here. Careful. To do as much damage as possible to, uh, to the enemies. Ooh, Glass Cannon is very interesting. I don't really want it. So we'll take Toxic Shock is amazing! Infested. Here I was thinking that that would be a, a waste. Hell no. Okay, so we need to get touched. Touched by an e saddle. But I also want to put a bomb there. Thinking that that was going to be the secret room, but it's not. Yo, get out of here. I guess he gets poisoned if, if he's too close to me. So we want him to touch us. Uh. Uh. Then we grab all the books. Necronomicon. We will take and keep Satanic Bible. And then we will leave. Because we have what we want. And we, we never have to take a deal with the devil if we don't want it. Can't you just kill him to become the lost? That is correct. If you kill Esau, you will also become the lost. The benefit is that he will no longer... He will no longer be attacking you. However, you will still be the lost, so you gotta, you gotta, you know, decide whether or not that's something that you wanna, wanna have happen. You're also worse than the lost, because you are the lost without Holy Mantle. So you're, you should never just want to become the lost willy-nilly. If you want to become the Lost, do it at the end of a floor. Yeah, that was very good. I hit, I hit frickin' spacebar again to try to use Anima Sola. It's so hard not to hit the correct button because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I also do not want to use Satanic Bible right now. We want to use it at the end of a floor, I think. That does seem to be usually the, the correct option there. Oh, Lord. Don't kill my brother! Uh, I forgot that the creep here actually does do damage. Okay, now we can use Satanic Bible. Didn't get a deal, that's fine. Plenty of health. I think secret room could be there. I mean, so far the run is actually going quite well. Oh, you know what? We might get a deal with the devil on the mirror side, which might actually be okay. I like Dead Onion. So I actually thought that we would possibly be able to get two items from each one of these uh, item rooms. That's not the case, obviously. We're only getting one, but... You know, still not bad. Because <laughs> we get to choose an additional item, possibly. Or from an additional item. You gonna, you gonna do this? You dick! I don't want him to die, because I don't want to... Uh, become the lost quite yet. But we also do need to enter the mirror realm. I, I know where the fire is. It's down here. There we go. We want to uh, hit the fire in order to become the lost because then we have Holy Mantle. Oh crap. He broke the mirror. I can't, I can't go in. <laughs> he died and broke the mirror! What did he get hit by? There was nothing there! Oh, you piece of garbage. Well, I guess we can't do the mother path anymore. <sighs> what did he, what hit him? You know what it probably was? It was probably the poison, or he ran into a fire. It was one or the other. Oh, you, you goddamn jerk. <laughs> 
It must have been Toxic Shock, yeah. Okay, well, let's, um... I mean, maybe we can just do the Beast Path, because the run is looking pretty good so far, and we can just drop this trinket in here. Yeah, shot speed down. I mean, maybe it'll be a better pill when we come back around, so we'll leave it there. Ah, oh, Jesus. Time to go kill Delirium. I don't know if we're gonna kill Delirium, but we literally cannot do the Mother Path anymore, so... Oh, dude, car battery is, like, game-winning. As long as we have... As long as we don't let Ease Out touch us, car battery is game-winning. Double health now. Makes it a lot easier to take deals with the devil, too. All right, well, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you know, eh, whatever. I'll take a familiar. It does good damage. So we, we get through room, all right, can't fly anymore. We get through rooms very quickly right now. Enemies don't really, hello? Enemies don't really live very long with us around. Now here's a question, do I wanna deal with the devil? I guess why not? Like, we have enough health, so. Don't touch the fire. I don't know if the fire will hurt you, apparently. Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades is very good. I think I'll keep High Priestess, though, for killing a, uh, a boss. Thank you. I don't know, I don't know if we can somehow make it so that Toxic Shock doesn't kill Esau, but here's hoping. Um, God dang it! I hit the wrong button! <laughs> Piece of garbage! Well, we're the lost now. But we still have Toxic Shock and we have like okay damage and everything. We might as well kill Esau. Well, no, because he does damage. I had the card selected, and then when I had the card selected. Oh, F. Yeah, freaking just died by walking into an eyeball. Oh man, it's so annoying having to make sure that you have the correct, I mean, it's totally on me for having the wrong item selected. You know, I, I had the card on and then I had to like figure out in my head, uh, what button is it to switch to Anima Sola? Oh, it's this button, press this button, press Anima Sola. Oh wait, no, it's not spacebar, hit Q. Like it's totally on me, but like you couldn't just make it another button. <laughs> Like, it's, you use this every single room. Make it easier to hit than Q. Make it spacebar. Just make it so that you can swap between two active items. Then you can press spacebar while you're still dodging and it's it's easier on the keys, on the fingers, because it's WASD spacebar instead of WASD Q. Anyways. Whatever. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I'm pissed. I'm pissed because it's the same thing that's killed me. Like, it's the only thing that's really killed me playing as uh, Jacob and Esau here. It's always just I, I hit the wrong button and like I hit spacebar instead of Q or I have like a pill out or something. It's the same damn thing every time. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> but it's annoying and it's something that I should just not be doing. Oh Lord. But. The thing is, is that it's probably something that everyone does, so like it's not... <laughs> I think I'm in good company, let's say, you know? Oh god. It felt like a really good run too, because we had basically infinite health, and I just did it again, I hit freaking Q! Or sorry, I hit space. I can't even say the right word! <laughs> I can't even say what the correct button is. What? Get out of here. Didn't mean to fart on you. Oh. <laughs> okay, hit the right buttons, thank you. So I've got this judgment card, but it's gonna be a little annoying having to uh, make sure that I use it at the correct moment. I just didn't even try to like get away from that, did I? I just like walked into it. 
Okay, okay, I'm, I'm good now. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. For real this time. Once more with feeling. And uh, hopefully with better items. Oh! There's no way you can get away from the bomb. You know what? In this situation, spacebar is the correct button. Deck of, car deck of cards. I don't think deck of cards is what we want. Get out of here, Esau. You know, that's an interesting choice. Probably not any good, but you never know. <laughs> we could just skip the entire run. Q, Q. A part of me is like, I should just change my my control keys to make Anima Sola spacebar, but like, I really think they should have made it so that instead of having two Qs, you have two spacebars that you can swap between, because that's more natural, I feel like. Ah, you will still kill me, huh? I will be more careful in the future. Excuse me, please don't murder me. At least we can fly now, we can get this stuff. But Unicorn Horn will not keep me safe from Esau. So if I wanted the shovel, we could go get the shovel. Spoilers, I don't want the shovel. Bum 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 bum. Seems like stuff that spawns spiders and flies is horrible on him. I guess that's true because if you summon spiders and flies, they're just gonna kill Esau and then, you know, make it more likely that you're just gonna die. <laughs> I guess that's the risk that you pay though. Oh no. Hello. Oh God, we lived. It did not do a full heart of damage. I really thought that would have done a full heart of damage from the uh, champion exploding. I guess not. Excuse me? Oh, brother! Brada! Don't murder me, brother. Murder this guy! Thank you. Where? You know what? You killed a couple of poops for me, brother. Thank you. I also, uh, I have a hard time anticipating what direction he's gonna rush in because when when you use Anima Sola, Esau will rush in any direction, any direction 360 degrees, he'll rush directly at you. When you're not using Anima Sola, he'll only rush in eight compass directions, which makes it really hard to anticipate exactly how he operates because sometimes You'll you'll think he's going in one direction, but he's actually going in another just because of uh, of how he decided he wanted to move in that particular situation. Did I get hit? Oh no! Hey. Isao, no! <laughs> don't do that. We don't get the healing out of the PJs. If you pick up health when you're uh, the lost form, you don't actually get the health, so. We don't get any value out of PJs. Like, literally none, because <laughs> I just, Oh. You know what, just like, go die. Come here. 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 See you later! <laughs> you freaking dick. That's okay. All we gotta do is just not get hit on the next floor and then we'll get our deal with the devil, right? All we gotta do is not get hit here and then we'll live, right? Oh, you freaking lived! I should not have broken the pots. I created so many spiders. I'm just creating more now. <laughs> But I have infinite bombs, it's hard not to want to blow things up. You know what? Oh crap, I am a wizard. I don't want to be a wizard. I don't want to be a wizard! I don't want to be a wizard! Excuse me. Let's go to that item room, I want to see what the item is. Hell yeah. Uh oh. 
please. Uh, yeah, stop one fly. <laughs> oh, it did, st it stopped them all. You know, that's kind of nice. The gauze. Candy heart. Okay, candy heart is actually pretty good. We can start accumulating all stat upgrades. Okay, make sure Anima Sola is selected. Anima Sola will help quite nicely against these gurglings, and we still have access to our unicorn horn. Just have this, you know what? Thank you. We <laughs> I like the sound effects on it. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? We have, uh, we got the bombs. We're gonna look. We're gonna look for frickin' everything. And we're gonna go to the shop. And, uh, I, I actually still think it's worth holding on to Black Candle. We don't get the HP out of it, but we will get a, uh, curse immunity out of it. So I think that's still worth it. All right, let's get the heck out of here. That was an okay floor. Well, I guess, I guess if we have infinite bombs, let's go to the second secret room. Literally, it can be in two locations. Three locations, which is actually now two locations. Yeah, just don't blow yourself up. <laughs> oh, baby! More pills. Full health. Balls of steel. I'm drowsy. Full health. So there's multiple full health pills and the gauze. I'm gonna keep the gauze because that'll uh, that'll keep our deal with the devil. We can get health just by picking it up. We have candy heart. We 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 want to pick up health like that. Let me crawl space. I I think when we're the lost, we can take a free deal with the devil, and it won't. Uh, cost us anything, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Let's not worry about that. We'll worry about that later. Okay, so the Gaz keeps our deal. Yeah, and we have we we have balls of steel. We picked up PJs, and we didn't get any of the health, which is highly unfortunate. And I don't approve, but unfortunately, there's also nothing I can do. I am but one man. That, that is a full health pill. Oh, it's a bad trip pill that became a full health pill. Make sure Anima Sola is selected. Well, regardless, it's nice to have. Oh, you dick. That was close. <laughs> I would have been really annoyed had uh, Esau hit me on that one. I hate these rooms where you don't have a lot of maneuverability. Like, how the heck are you gonna manage Esau? You're a freaking knot. At least we do have a full health bill. Bomb beggar. No, thank you. Eternal chest. No, thank you. Because I don't have the keys for you. Got two of them. He d like he he's really good at doing damage, but he's also really annoying at killing you. You know, I'd prefer he didn't kill you, but <laughs> obviously that's not gonna happen, is it? Excuse me. You know, you lit him on fire, which is pretty nice. I actually thought that uh, I'd be getting more use out of this uh, unicorn horn. The problem is, is that I never want to use it because I'm still gonna have to run into the into him to get towards the enemies. Like I really don't want to run towards the enemies. <laughs> okay, so there's a stat upgrade thanks to Candy Heart. We'll try to get as many of these as we can before we leave, but it, it's gonna be hard to uh, 
make happen if we don't want to just like burn all of our HP on something. I mean, ideally we would find like an arcade. But it's probably worth it to just get the HP, uh, the, yeah, it's probably worth it to, you know, go to the curse room a few times, get the HP, get the stat upgrades. Ah, thanks. What? You you killed an enemy when you when you entered the room, and as a result, I got hit. <laughs> That's that, that doesn't sound right. Wait a minute. That's rude. Get out of here. Excuse me. No secret room. Lots of red hearts, though. I don't know if Candy Heart makes these uh, more likely to appear. I just stood still and then died instantaneously. But we came back as the lost. <laughs> I, I just stood still in the middle of the room for some reason. In my head, I'm like, this is perfectly safe. I just got myself killed for no reason. <laughs> is the eternal chest playable with, an, with a golden key? Yeah, we should we should probably go do that. But let's go, let's go fight the boss first. I, I I don't know why I decided to just stand still, but I did. <laughs> Yum heart. I mean, you know, I don't think this actually works with uh, candy heart. Now that I think about it, I think I remember reading that it doesn't work because you don't pick up the HP; it just gets deposited. So. Well, <laughs> if we get a deal with the uh, devil, it will be free. <laughs> Man, he gets real freaking close to you, doesn't he? All right, give me the deal. Give it to me for free. Don't shoot me. Get me out of here. Oh, consolation prize. Plus speed. You know, I'll take some plus speed. I freaking need it. Also take deep pockets, because, like, why not? Maybe we'll get a lucky, uh... Nah. Maybe we'll get a lucky, uh membership card and we, we will need to spend this money somewhere. Oh, we might as well pick this up. The hanged man. Well, we can fly essentially at any point in time just by dying, so no reason for, to have that. It's a good eternal chest. <laughs> it's a very good eternal chest. And now we have actual flight. Ah, but we won't get the HP. But we do have flight now. So that's a positive. It's actually a very big positive, because now it's gonna be a lot easier to dodge frickin' Esau. Frickin' Esau, man! Let's get the heck out of here. We, we lived, so let's get out of here. <laughs> Nope, let's go down. Plenty of money, too. All right, well, I guess we lived uh, through another floor. <laughs> tech. It's Tech 2. I like technology, so I'm definitely going to take it. It's going to make it hard to not shoot Esau, but I like tech, because if you get like tech homing, it's absurdly nice. It's also just nice to be able to shoot enemies at range. And if we get lucky, maybe we can actually get like a, uh, well, I guess we can't get Godhead or Sacred Heart. So that's a couple of different uh, standard homing items out of the, uh, out of consideration. I am thinking, I'm like, what button could I set Q to 
that would be a little bit better than uh, than what it is right now. Because I don't want to hit Q when I'm trying to dodge at the same time. It just seems like too much effort. Okay, so in theory, that's a good deal with the devil. Saved. That also seems like a second secret room, so we'll go check that out real quick. Brittle heart. Hollow heart. I don't know what this does. But let's let's see, because we have plenty of keys right now. Get out of here, you stupid fly! Ooh, another floor! We're gonna be real slow, but we're gonna have Another floor to stockpile advantages. I'm excited. I'm happy. It, to me, it kind of feels like it, it's a slight making up of uh, losing the deal with the devil by getting hit uh, like two floors ago. I'll go in here. I don't care. Kind of a waste, but let's save the eternal. I guess I have the fool card. I could use that, but we'll keep the uh, the spirit heart intact. Well, I'm glad I kept the spirit heart intact. Not the green flies. Anything but the green flies. <laughs> oh, I missed all the enemies because I tried to do it too quickly. I should put it on like alt or something. What about shift? Shift isn't used for anything. Yeah, I should put it on shift. That'd make it a little bit easier to use in uh, in the in the thick of things, you know. Let's do it. Yes! Yeah, we did it! We've done it! That's right, are you kidding me? Except we have to go to the deal with the devil right now. But it's just you! You don't give me anything anyways, you suck! Oh, well, it doesn't matter if we get hit. It doesn't. You know what, getting hit is good, because we get stat upgrades, so there you go. You dick. <laughs> I want to be low on health anyways, weirdly enough. I'll take a little coal, I don't care. This was actually pretty good. I don't want to become the lost though, and we don't need that at all. What I want to do is exactly this. I want to hurt myself, I want to pick up all the red hearts. I want to get as many stat bonuses from Candy Heart as possible. Shoot the whoop. It's probably, ooh, it's probably better than what we had. This is pretty good. This is gonna be a very good floor for us. I got a feeling. I mean, we're gonna do the floor twice, so. <laughs> I got a good feeling. Careful. Excuse me, brother, don't do it. Don't do it, brother. Now we won't have any, uh, we won't have any uh, blue hearts going down to the next floor, but this is still okay. 0 0.06 tiers, 0 0.1 damage, 0 0.04 shot speed. You know what, fine, <laughs> be that way. <laughs> I mean, I guess stat upgrades are stat upgrades, right? You shouldn't complain. Control space for anima binding. That's like that's actually an interesting idea. Yeah. Maybe I'll think about it. Oh, I want to think about it because my body can't handle Q. So damage down, tier rate up, shot speed up, HP up. We also get the benefit of having another syringe, which means that we are closer to spun. That's not, that's not bad. Can you just walk into spike rocks? I guess I could walk into spike rocks. 
Are there any good spike rocks around? I guess I haven't really been paying attention to the spike rocks, but I guess they're in this room, huh? It's fine. We're at full health anyways. Well, minus, whoa, minus uh, one. So you know what, boom, there you go, spike rock, thank you. It's a good point though, <laughs> spike rocks are a little easier. All right, what do we got, what do we got? Nothing in here is worth buying except for maybe the pill, which is balls of steel, which is amazing. Balls I'm very glad I decided to get it. So that was a, uh, a black yellow pill, let's keep that in mind. Isao, leave me alone. Okay, we're doing the entire floor again. But with good reason. Oh, we have a we have a bone heart now. That must be what the brittle heart does. Oh man. No, no, we're not gonna take Satanic Bible. We don't need it. At least it's not an XL floor again. I would actually love an XL floor because you get two item rooms if you do it again. Uh, but we're not gonna take this. We have a good item already. You know, we have health. In theory, we can keep our, our bone hearts alive as they come up. We got a guppy item. And uh, I, I honestly love Shoop the Whoop. Shoop the Whoop is amazing. There's another spirit heart. Yeah, I, I like what we have here. This is a very good run right now. Oh, Jesus, he hit the fire and then bounced off of it. I didn't realize he could do that. Oh, it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh no, there go my charges! Choo 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 choo! <laughs> so all my charges are just going the way. <laughs> what the hell? Cause that's Deep Pockets. Deep Pockets gives you the multi-coin payouts. You've gotten two guppy, guppy items? You're right, we have Guppy's Caller, which saved our life already. One more guppy item is all we need. It's all it takes. I should be using Anima Sola, but like, when there's only one enemy on the screen, I'm like, why? Very good. And no deal with the devil, which is good because we've already seen the deal with the devil on this floor. Now, we are in caves too. Please give me an arcade so I can pick up a lot of red hearts. That's what I want. I just ran into the enemies. <laughs> it's tough not to, man. I keep blaming the controls, but like it's totally the controls and not me. I like, I need an arcade. I wanna pick up all these red hearts. There's just so many, so much HP on the ground everywhere. You know, I want it. You know what I like? That our rate of fire is good enough right now that we're actually able to do a decent amount of damage with the tech shot and with our shots. No, I don't want glass cannon. <laughs> Not on this run, no thank you. I don't even know what glass cannon would do with lasers. I don't even think it does anything with the lasers. Careful. Please, arcade. <laughs> no! We can go in there though, if we get hit. We have a sun card. If we had a teleport card, I'd be more inclined to get in there, but without being able to teleport out, I don't wanna risk getting hit once and then dying. There's also no arcade. Pill, bad trip. And Masola, bad trip. Sun is better. Guppy's paw we don't need. I'll, I'll see what's in there. No, I'm, I don't wanna know what's in there. <laughs> don't, don't tempt me. I want out. I want out! 
We'll go to the secret room. Maybe there's gonna be something in the secret room that gives me uh, access to that. It's the arcade! The game was listening. And you know what? Child's heart could be good, but I don't want to be losing that much red health. Unless we have access to an arcade, you know what I mean? You know what? Just chill. Point one luck. Hell yeah. You know what I need? Um, I, I do believe that battery items will work on Animus. No! <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, I do believe that battery items will work on Animasola. So in theory, we could have like, excuse me. Uh, in theory, we could have like, uh, oh God. Uh, nine volts, which could give us more charges of it. We could have other items that could give us more charges on it and stuff like that. Excuse me. So that's a bad trip pill. We could use the sun for full health, get a, get more money. But money's not a problem right now. I don't really care about the cash, so maybe we shouldn't even worry about that. I could go down really low on health and then go into that room, the uh, boss trap room. It'll cost us like five soul hearts, but if we're if we're collecting one bone heart per floor, maybe it's worth it. Especially if we could maybe get some uh, other spirit hearts on the floor somehow. We're red hearts, okay? So hold up, hold up. Car battery might make him instantly charge. Uh, it does not. It does not. I actually had that combination uh, before. What, what, if you have car battery, what happens is that there's a visual indicator that he's been chained twice, but it still just works once. Will the sun kill Isao? I mean, it does damage, so if it could kill him, if he has low enough health, maybe it would, but we'll just have to be a little bit careful about that. Um, okay, so we'd have to lose four HP to go into the boss trap room, and then we could heal with the sun card when we leave. What's our time? 24 minutes. Okay, we're not doing any... I mean, I guess we did do the floor twice as well. You know, I'm, let's just think of it as I'm giving myself more capacity for... Uh, for red hearts. It took the bone heart? Dicks! What dicks? Rude, rude dicks. All right, let's go do this. So we've got this done. Actually, we should use um, we should use bad trip. So let's get bad trip, which is now full health. Oh, and we can leave with spirit hearts because of Guppy's paw. Okay, okay. So walk in, full health, marrow. There's even HP on the ground, which is beautiful. Try to get in him in there. Good stuff. Well, whatever. This is very good. I don't know what Marrow does other than one brittle heart. I don't know if it gives us like any other value, but you know, we're still like totally in the clear here. So really quickly, what we're gonna do is I'm going to, you know, we have a we have a couple of spirit hearts protecting our deal with the devil. Let's not use Guppy's paw. Let's keep our health. We will play this again, again. You dick! <laughs> we don't get the health now. He, he, he approached me as I was playing. Well, it doesn't matter. We can still at least pick this up. All right, so, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. We, we missed out on a couple of candy hearts because I, I didn't think he would touch me, but I guess he does touch you uh, when he's starting his charge. You gotta be very careful about that. But you know what? We're learning. We're learning. I'm learning. 
But look, there's uh, there's our health right there. There you go. Speed up. Shot speed up. Damage up. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was the wrong enemy. <laughs> the moon. Teleport cards are nice. That gives you more iframes. Oh, right, you shoot backwards. Honestly, more iframes could be uh, really nice to have. I don't know if they would actually protect us from Esau. In theory, they could. I also, I love having tech for these. I mean, part of the reason why I love having tech is just so that we have piercing shots, you know? Makes these enemies very hard to, to kill you. Well, that was not great. But I kind of like the Brittle Heart, honestly. Give me, give me more HP. No, God, what the heck? He stopped moving halfway through his charge. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky though, and uh, if we get super lucky, we will, um... oh my Lord. Maybe if we get super lucky, we will uh, get the mom's trinket box that allows us to have two trinkets. Wow, Esau did nothing. Lag plus, thank you for the resub. How are you doing? I can't really look right now though. I got too many things on the go in the moment. I appreciate it. This says, how run doing? Look, the run's hard, okay? I'll just call it like I see it. Run's pretty freaking hard. Oh, I was affected by a tractor beam. I almost just ran into Jacob, Esau, the other one. Does it make him bigger? It does not, okay. <laughs> I was gonna be real pissed if it actually made him bigger. Luckily, that's not how that works. There is a pill in there. We've seen a few pills. Might be worth checking it out. Uh, we gotta like move fast here. Brother, leave me alone. Brother! I'll use my own bomb on these, I don't care. I just gotta not get hit by him. Thank you. He was helping, he pushed it into the position. Oh, thank you, Isao. Here, I thought you were trying to kill me this entire time. You're actually helping. There's a lot of health on the ground I want. I wanna be able to, to get hit slightly and then pick it up. But I don't want to get hit because that's scary. That's scary. <laughs> I need to aim the uh, the Esau charges a little bit better. That's a secret room to the left of the shop, I think. Yeah, I need to aim them just a little bit better. <laughs> a little bit better than hitting literally nothing. Our shots are real fast. That's Candy Heart. Sun card. You know what, just use it. Thankfully you didn't die from that, that would have been silly. Get the moon card, and cancer, which is absurdly good. Why am I not using cancer immediately? Because I've got hearts on the ground I gotta do something with. Although, hold up, cancer does mean that you take less damage after the first hit of damage on a room. I still think we play this and go pick up the hearts though. Well, I guess I, I thought there was going to be more HP on the ground. There, there isn't. At least it's a little stat upgrade. Esau. I hit, what did I hit? I hit the moon card. Luckily, it didn't cost me anything. It cost me a moon card, which is not that bad. But like, I gotta stop making those mistakes. If that was Anima Solo, it would have got me freaking killed, dude. I wonder how much damage he's taken. You know that? That would actually make Spider Mod potentially really nice here. Just to be able to see how much health he has left and whether or not he's about to die. 
I did blow him up with a bomb, and I apologize for that. It was not my intention. Isao! He just loves running into bombs before they go off. Like a freaking crazy person. Okay, so that's Cancer, we're on Necropolis 1. I want Cancer, but I want to do... I want to do the uh, boss fight first. I don't know why. It's probably dumb. We should probably just do Cancer first. Do Cancer. We should probably just do Cancer first. Because I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, I can uh, take damage and then pick up the hearts with Candy Heart. Or just go, <laughs> you know? Cancer, so Cancer gives us three blue hearts. Uh, and then also, we take less damage after the first time we take damage in a room. So it's damage reduction. Okay, deal with the devil. Multi-dimensional baby. I I'm actually gonna take it. I, I kinda like multi-dimensional baby. It doubles the lasers, which is real nice. And we are done. So let's go. I don't know why I'm going this way though. This is not the way down. This is the way down. Esau's forgotten he doesn't have pyro. Apparently he does though, because he doesn't seem to take a lot of damage. So we got another bone heart. Oh, you know what? This is gonna give us a lot of bone hearts on the ascent. Should we do the ascent? I feel like we should. What did that stop? It stopped the nub? I feel like we should do the ascent, honestly. Um, I don't remember if we dropped a trinket because the fact that the run has has been repeating itself slightly with the deaths involved, but I think we could totally do the beast on this path. I think it's worth attempting. Like we ha we have health and we have an okay amount of damage, so I'm kind of interested in doing it or trying to. And if we keep getting candy, uh, sorry, if we keep getting bone hearts as we ascend, then that's like a little bit of a synergy with the candy heart, because the candy heart will give us uh, more stats as we fill the HP. Thank you. <laughs> ah! I did just run into the enemy though, so like that's totally on me. Thank you, Weasel. <laughs> really doesn't like mom hands. Good old mom hands. I do need to find that tinted skull at some point. You don't need a trinket card. Right, thank you very much. No, actually we do. Um, no, we don't. This is a tainted character. This is a tainted character. We don't need to worry about unlocking things. Okay, okay, okay. In that case, then, yeah, we could just go and do any path we wanted to. Not yet, because we got more stuff to do. There's also no Tinted Skulls in this room. We also have 121 cents. I'm getting a little bit better at using this guy. Still no Tinted Skulls. Let's get him to come down. So we can get that deal with the devil chance up. He's just so good. <laughs> At everything except killing me. Don't be a greed. It's not a greed. Dude, it's actually Smelter, which is amazing. There's a couple of trinkets even on this floor that I would like to suck up, so there's one. Was there another trinket on this floor? Maybe there wasn't? I thought there was. Oh, you know, it's probably the last floor now that I think about it. You know what? We don't need Smelter anymore. I'm gonna go back for, uh, for my thing that actually does damage. You know, I guess we could potentially get some, uh... 
Oh my god, he almost hit me. Uh, I guess we could potentially go back and uh, play that that one arcade machine. It's just really hard with this guy flying around the entire time. Two of clubs, just use it. Ace of hearts. Use it later. Card against humanity. I don't mind using a card against some humanity and getting some money. We're already like long enough into the run. We can take our time. <laughs> Look, just uh just shoot the poop a little bit. You'll be fine. I need something to give me more charges on my active item, though. There's a little bit of HP. You love that sound, don't you? Pop, 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 pop. There's another bone heart. Can we even pick it up? We can pick it up. So you know what? That's a little bit of a stat upgrade right there. I did not think... You know what? I was gonna say, I don't think... I didn't think you could get bone hearts out of poop. I'm willing to bet what happened was the trinket might also give you a larger opportunity to pick up bone hearts. That would be interesting. I'm surprised there was no uh, poop trinket. Can you shoop the poop? I did shoop a lot of poop. It's another one of you? I don't want to reroll my whole run. Rerolling runs are bad. Like. You know how many times I've just completely had garbage and like no health after a reroll because of the way they changed the mechanics? Oh, you went straight down, huh? I really wish he would not go straight down like that. I wish that he would actually go at an appropriate angle, but that's fine. Stigmata, that's good. They love just giving you enemies to fight, huh? Okay, so we got two bone hearts. That's pretty good. I can accept that. And we have curved horn, which is real nice. Super lust, huh? More poop! <laughs> we don't really need more poop, but there you go. We also have 116 Frickin' sense and a luck up penny. Very nice. That's too much money. So where the heck is this uh, this tinted skull at? I haven't seen it yet, I don't think. It's not in here. I don't want to reroll my run. So where the heck is this tinted skull at? Oh, just ran into the spike. But you know what? Hey, that's HP that we can pick up now. <laughs> So, you know, let's do, do it again. There you go. I've learned my lesson too. Never have a card selected. Okay, so we got the Fool card. There was another card in that shop, but we'll go take a look at that once we fight Mom, which is gonna be right now anyways. No shoop available, but that's okay, honestly. Mother, you hit me. Okay, we are going, it doesn't matter what we take, because we're gonna get rid of it in a second anyways. So we'll take one, teleport out. We'll deposit it in a moment. We might as well hold on to it, because if I if I forget to deposit it, we can at least still do something. <laughs> I'm playing around my own forgetfulness, uh, to a small extent. This is the secret room, this is not where we wanna go. We wanna go down here. Not in there, I'm gonna go here, and then here. Okay, and then what are there, what is this card? This is the one that caught my eye, Chariot. May nothing walk past you. I think I actually know what this does. I, I think I, I've I've looked up a couple of the, of the cards, and I don't think I want Chariot upside down, question mark. I think that would probably be bad. So I'm not gonna take it, and instead I'm just gonna go. <laughs> There's another shop on the next floor, which really just means that we should probably just uh, donate some here.
Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to do a lot of heavy donations. We can do like three cents at a time. <laughs> Although if you time it correctly, you can jam the machine. Oh, hell yeah. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Don't forget to go into alt path territory though. I think we have a pretty okay run right now. I think we could probably defeat the beast if we if we need to, which we need to. <laughs> I thought he was gonna hit me. <laughs> All right, let's do it. We can still fly. I tell you why. We're still getting plenty of money too. I mean, I guess that's the the thing with. Uh, deep pockets is that you just get so much money that you just gotta find ways of spending it pretty much. And we do have that uh, that bone heart sticking around, so if we can fill it, it's gonna be worth more than a uh, it's gonna be worth more than a standard soul heart because it should t block two hits instead of one. He's already dead! Are you kidding me? I died to a What? The spike rocks instantly kill Esau? What? Thank you, Guppy, but like, also, what the hell? Oh my god, they have to change that. That is bullshit. That is utter bull. Like, what the hell, what the hell do you expect me to do, game? It just instantly kills you. <laughs> well, I guess we have to just not ever get hit, so. Well, because what's interesting is that I fires he seems to be immune to. It, he, he may have gotten hit by a white fire on like the downpour, but he's immune to the traps in the game except the spike rocks. So when he hit the spike rock, he just became pure red and just instantly died. So like that's 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 BS is what that is. Like if he doesn't get hit by fires or the spike traps, but spike rocks kill him, you know how many freaking rooms there are with just that are filled with spike rocks? I'm I'm upset and annoyed because I mean if we. Thank God for Guppy's collar, but I'm upset and annoyed because if I die right here, it's just because of the fact that he died to a spike rock that I A, didn't know about, and B, half the time can't even worry about dodging anyways. Like, what am I gonna do on a tight room? Ugh. So this is, this is frustrating, and apparently the shots that reflect off of uh, these guys will kill you. So, lesson learned there, I suppose. Okay, we lived through another room. <laughs> we didn't even need to do this room. I thought we had to, but we don't. Oh, I'm, I'm like real pissed now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing this very freaking carefully. Just like get through the room as quickly as possible. I don't even want to use Monster Manuel because now that I think about it, like if we get a familiar that shoots, it could kill us. If it's like, um... Uh, what's one of the familiars that shoots and kills you? Bob's brain or something, you know? So I don't want to even risk it. But we gotta find our way out of here. Like, freaking spike rocks, really? And then the entire screen shook, so I didn't even see the trap when I walked in here the first time. There, yeah, there you go. God damn it. I'm 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 annoyed. And I'm I'm honestly so annoyed that I don't want to play Jacob anymore until like they patch it, because like that's that can't be intentional. I I can't see that being intentional 
that he'll die if he touches a spike rock. Like, it doesn't make sense that he'll, he can go around fire, that he can get hit by enemy bombs that don't do damage. And I was kind of making fun of that during the run. But then a spike rock kills him in a half second and then you turn into the loss. Like, there's no player control over that. That doesn't seem intentional. So I'm probably just not even going to play this character again until they fix it because it can just completely ruin your run due to something that is pretty much outside of your control, which is bullshit. <laughs>